Today, in Roman history and antiquity, a Roman emperor took a peace policy with a rival power to the east. Since the time of Augustus, Roman emperors chose their candidate to occupy the Armenian throne as a client state. While Tiberius continued the policy, his successor reversed it. Find out today about Caligula and his Parthian policy. In early 37 AD, Artabanus II wanted to invade Syria due to his hatred of Tiberius. The Syrian governor, Lucius Vitellius, headed to the Euphrates River to stop the Parthian invasion. They met at the Euphrates and negotiated for peace. While there were no exact terms, these were the following actions. 1. He respected the statues of Augustus and Caligula and the Eagle Standards. 2. Both sides agree to a truce. 3. Artabanus handed over his son, Darius, as a hostage for Rome. He was later part of the celebrations with Caligula at Baia. 4. It was probable that Parthia controlled the Armenian throne. To do so, Caligula gave up Mithridates as the Roman candidate to be the Armenian king. If they lived on, I wonder what would have transpired. Initially, Caligula wanted to focus on Germania and Britannia, and Artabanus recognized Caligula for being Germanicus' son due to having good relations with Germanicus. Conclusively, Caligula stopped Augustus' policy of appointing a candidate to the Armenian throne, which continued under Tiberius, who selected Mephrodates to kingship in 35 AD. Also, a war against Parthia would be a quagmire, expensive, protractive, and risky. Too many lives would have perished. Finally, Artabanus did not invade Armenia, and instead he put his son Orodes on the throne. As for Mephrodates, Caligula arrested him, but his successor Claudius later reinstated him. In addition, his lineage to Germanicus was an asset due to the friendly relations of his father and Artabanus. In addition, his lineage to Germanicus was an asset due to the friendly relations of his father and Artabanus. In the end, Caligula ensured peace in his eastern frontier against Parthia.